Oh boy, new secret report unlocked for no reason. That's great. Okay, we only have three challenges left in the game. We have to, to kill the six giant Heartless without taking much damage. We have to kill the six giant Heartless as well as the Dust Flyer, and then we have to defeat Shion in a short amount of time. I'm going to try the six giant Heartless in record time, and for, or without taking much damage. For this, we're going to get the Extreme Rain if we have to avoid damage anyways. This will allow us to spam Limit Breaks. We're also going to unequip, uh, I believe it's Final Limit... Yeah, there it is. We don't want that. We want to spam the regular limit. And then in that case, I guess we'll equip another... Fire, I suppose. Actually, no. We'll equip another Kira. Wait, no. Kira's completely pointless. If we have... Uh... Kira's completely pointless if we have the Extreme Rain. Same with the second chance that we have, so we're going to replace those ability units with sight units. To up our critical hit rate even further. Alright. Avoid taking damage against the six giant heartless. Let's go. So we're gonna start with the most problematic heartless to begin with. So the most problematic heartless for me would be the Orcus, who's over here in the tram common. The Orcus, the Lurk Lizard, and the Guard Armor are gonna be the trickiest ones, I think. Hi. Oh, great. We already died. <laughs> well, that went well. <laughs> I told you the Orcus was going to be the toughest one to get first. Alright. Maybe we can't spam Limit Breaks against that guy. Maybe we have to hit him from a distance with magic. We do have 20 free Fundagas, so yeah, that's probably what we need to do first. Storm Bombs, get out of here. Dun 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 dun. Okay. He doesn't care about Fundaga. Uh oh. He's chasing me with his sword. I don't know how to avoid that. Okay, he does not like fire. We're gonna do fire spam against him and pray he doesn't do his... <laughs> super stupid... sword move. Because I was I was super gliding at max level away from that, and I couldn't outrun it. Worst case scenario, we don't need the Extreme Rain, because we can't afford to take a couple hits in this challenge, but... But Limit Break Spam is going to be so nice against some of the bosses. Oh, look! He's doing his cheap sword move. Maybe we just need to zigzag. Okay, yeah, this is what we gotta do. Fire spam. Oh, no! That's too close. Personal space, Mr. Orcus. I dodge rolled, though. Okay, I hit... I... He faked me out there! What the heck? This butt! He literally moved forward to slash his sword, then fake slashed so he could slash it for real immediately after that. It's like Heat Stroke from Mario Party. Alright, third time's the charm. Actually, wait, this is the fourth time. An interesting choice. Okay, we gotta wait for him to swing for real. Now, 
Okay, yep, there was his fake out. Also, I just realized, why did I bring Kira's if I can't use them for anything? Okay. That's the Orcus down. He's the toughest one. Now we're gonna go for the Lurk Lizard. Who will also be fairly tough, but hopefully we can keep our distance. We can take as much time for this as we want. Yeah, I gotta be really careful with the limit break for this. I can't just spam the weapon, the attack button. Okay, Fundaga does a lot of damage against him. This is good. Oh, wow. The Lurk Wizard was really easy. <laughs> I thought he was going to be tougher than that. I'll be honest. Alright, let's fight the, uh, the Ice Armor. Or whatever it's called. Over in the sand lot. The Powered Armor. Okay, he's down to 1 HP. Okay, and that's why we have the Extreme Rain. Because <laughs> we can just obliterate the parts of his armor that are annoying. Okay, we have two left. Or no, we have three left. We have the Giga Shadow, the, pl uh, the Plant, and the Stalwart Blade. Out of the three, I think the Stalwart Blade is going to be the most problematic. But as long as we're patient, he shouldn't be too bad. Do, 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 do. Okay. Okay. We let him attack first. Yes. Keep doing this, please. I'm on the lookout because there's this, a really annoying, like, quick attack he can do. Yes. There we go. Beautiful. This is why we have the Extreme Rain. Alright. Poison Plant should be an absolute joke. As long as we hide behind the pillar and cast fire, he should go down extremely quickly. Alright. Shoot a fire. Hide behind the pillar. And shoot another fire. And it's that easy. Alright. Giga Shadow shouldn't, as long as we f shoot Fundaga at a distance, shouldn't be too hard. Beautiful. All right. That's the six we needed. Now we just have to remember which one of these take us to the... the beginning. Okay. Not exactly that one, but this is close enough. Doom, 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 doom,
And we RTC, and that's three more sigils. Oh, that's fantastic. All right. Now for the big kahuna. Now we take on Shion in record time. Oh, what are the special conditions for that one? No recovery magic. Okay. That's good to know. This means instead of Cures, we will be bringing high potions. Because we will be wanting high potions. We also are not going to bring the Extreme Rain, we're going to bring Critical Sun. Critical Sun, not Critical Rain. And we are also going to re-equip those ability units to get a second chance. Because I do like second chance. Alright. Equip a couple of more high potions, because we definitely are going to want the healing. And we have two elixirs in case fiends get really hairy. Alright. Shion in record time. Enemy level plus 30. That's okay, I'm also level plus 30. <laughs> Alright. Wonderland Shion should still be relatively easy. Oh wow, she takes very little damage. That's not good. So we really got to hope for critical hits, then. Oh, that's right. We can take damage. I got to be doing this quickly. Okay, yeah, well, you gotta focus on being fast. The time limit is fairly generous, but not as much as you might think. I think it's 4 minutes 30 seconds, which, given how much defense and HP she has, is not as much as you might think. Especially if she spams this move in this phase. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. There we go. Thank you for putting me into limit break. Should have equipped final limit for this. So if I stay close to her, will she actually do her physical attacks? Okay. Because I think if I fly too far away from her, that's when she spams Ragnarok, which is annoying. Or maybe not. Maybe she just does that naturally. Ouch. Oh, we can't use potions when we're doing limit breaks. That's not fun. Try to recover HP on me. How dare you. Actually, this is a fight where regular potions might be more useful, because then it won't get in the way of my... Uh, it won't refill me to the point where I can't use limit breaks. Oh wow, Fandaga does a lot of damage. If it hits. I still think critical hits are the way to go though. Nice try. 
Come on, we just gotta finish Shion. Her final phase is actually pretty easy. It just maybe takes a while. That's a lot of HP! That is a lot of HP. I need my critical hits to melt through her bar. I should have equipped more high potions. Look at how much HP she has. Her extra bars extend past the actual bar. I hate that move. I do have second chance. I should take advantage of that. If I can get down to 1 HP, I can limit break spam. Oh no, my level just went down. That's not good. I don't think that affects my attack, but it definitely affects how much damage I take. Okay. I can spam Limit Breaks now. Uh-oh. That's not good. Those Light Pillars can spawn anywhere! I, need, I needed that potion just for safety. Yeah, because then just dumb stuff like this can happen. Oh hey, I can Limit Break. If I can get close enough. Uh oh! Get out of the way! The black hole thing is still there? Come on, she's so close. No, I can't limit break because I'm not technically at 1 HP apparently. Oh no. Okay. She inflicted me with blind. We gotta just magic her to death now. Wow, can you even avoid that? Okay. Bye, Shion. Okay, we did it in the time limit. Sorry, Shion, but also... Gotta get me those challenge sigils. Oh, wait, that was way more than four minutes. Okay, we have one challenge left. Earn lots of heart points against the six giant heartless. Alright, it's a dust flyer time, I guess. <laughs> We've put it off for long enough. Okay, yeah, we're gonna take on the dust flyer, that, that annoying bonus boss. And we're gonna equip some stuff. So, we gotta get ready for this. To begin with, we have air slide equipped, right? Yeah. We're going to re-equip that, uh, the good air slide. <laughs> the one that gives us, like, five. Yes. That will be pretty imperative. Make sure we have all of our level ups equipped. Instead of Cura, we're going to go back to regular old Cure for Dust Flyer, I think. So we can take advantage of Second Chance and once more, maybe. Actually, no. Kira just seems better since it heals multiple times. Alright, there we go. Maybe equip another elixir. Yeah. This seems like a pretty solid lineup of, of abilities to have. Yeah. Okay, so we have to defeat the Dust Flyer twice. So the first one, we, did, we didn't actually clear out the regular old mission. Yeah, we still haven't actually filled up the mission gauge on the regular Hollow mission, so... We're gonna have to do that first. And then we'll do Challenge Mode Dust Flyer, who will be tougher. But we have, we have had a hard enough time beating Dust Flyer when he's just normal. 
But at this point, we're almost max level, so... If I can't beat him now, I'm really off my game. There's powered armor. We still we gotta kill the six giant artless to make the dust flyer appear. That's the annoying part. <laughs> but we'd have to kill them anyways, because we gotta fill up the mission gauge. Back here. Stop running away like a coward. Oh, that's exactly what he's doing. He's only spamming his hide from me and shoot his sword at me attack. Fight me like a man. Good lord. You are such a coward. That's all he's doing is ducking away and hiding. Well, look, he's doing his hide move again. Yeah, die. I gotta save almost all my stuff for the Dust Flyer, because he's that difficult, so... Come on now. Come on, man! Okay, I can use my offensive magic against these guys, though. I would say these guys are more difficult now than they were in the challenge mode. Okay, there we go. He's dead. That's good. Should have brought more Kira's and fewer fires. We can pull through. I'm still embarrassed by how easy that heart giant heartless is. Station Square. Doo -doo. 
Hi, Mr. Stalwart Blade. I hate that move that he can do. Okay, there he goes. Mission complete, now we gotta face the Dust Flyer. One of the most disappointing looking bonus bosses, and just most disappointing bonus bosses in general. Because this fight is literally just get in like a single combo and then run. Look at how long that shockwave attack lasts, like, good lord. Even limit breaks don't do much against this fan. It does kind of look like a Pokemon. It's literally just a palette swap of a regular Heartless boss, but it's like super powerful. Also, if you accidentally leave the room, then, well, that's a sucky thing that just happened to you. Oh my gosh, max level glide makes that attack so much more easy to dodge. I don't think Dustflyer is particularly difficult, you just have to be ridiculously patient, and because he takes like almost no damage, he just takes forever to beat. It doesn't take a whole lot of, like, strategy though to beat him. And like, magic barely scratches him as well. Ugh. Thankfully, he's not immune to all magic, he just takes very little damage from it. Critical hits do a lot of damage against him, though, that's, that's the key. <laughs> Thank goodness we don't have to do a Dust Flyer speed run, because that would just be too much. Love how the little shadows are like, we're relevant! He has a very simple pattern, it's just... It literally just comes down to how patient are you willing to be. Also, second chance helps out a great deal. Too well, give you a second chance if you screw up. Oh no, I can't use magic. Gotta be extra careful. Uh-oh. 
Okay, he's down to one eight bar HP bar. This is good. Come on, get a critical hit. Uh He's dead! And we get a premium. That's all we get? A premium orb? That's all we get? <laughs> That's not worth it. I can get a premium orb from, like, an aerial flyer in the Olympus Coliseum. Well, I do get the bragging rights. I've now beaten every bonus boss from every Kingdom Hearts game that I've played. So that's cool. High orb, premium orb. Okay, cool. Oh, and we get an extra premium orb for filling up the mission gauge. Okay, I mean, it's still not as fast of a way of getting premium orbs as other ways, but... Alright. I'm gonna equip a couple more Kiras, then, to replace some of these fires. Because, let's be honest, I'm not using the fires. All right, and let's take on this final challenge. Earn a lot of heart points. Oh, no recovery magic. Glad I checked, because that's going to change the panels I use. Okay, in this case, we will be taking extra fire casts. And we'll be bringing high potions. We'll be bringing a lot of high potions because Dust Flyer means business. And we'll bring an elixir or two as well, just in case fiends really get out of hand. And we do have an abundance of them. New secret report unlocked. That's great, but I want to set my shortcuts. I guess we might as well set these to, um,. X. Okay. There we go. Now we have something mapped on all of our buttons. Alright. Wait. There we go. Our level's also kept at 60. But, okay, it doesn't look like the enemies are any tougher, though. I just can't heal. Alright, this, this shouldn't be too hard. Right? Our healing's a bit more limited, but that's okay. We have the zero gear and our wits about us as well. There we go. Knocked him over before he could do his dumb spinning move. There we go. Do, do, do. I have been told as long as you kill the dust fire, you get triple sigils for this mission, which is good. Oh, that's right. Orcus likes thunder, but he hates fire. Where did he go? Um, is he stuck? No, he's not.
Take this. I hate that move! Makes him totally invincible for like 10 whole seconds. Oh look, he's doing it again. Ouch. I don't want to lock onto these stupid shadows. Are you kidding me? Roxas insisted on locking onto the shadows so I couldn't kill the Orcus. Die already? Good lord. Do 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 do. Maybe I should have taken more high potions. Let's just keep him stun locked like this. Beautiful. Lurk lizards hate Fundaga. <laughs> yes. Do do do. Do 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 do. Whoa, we're halfway there. Oh, four more heartless. Just make them say prayers. This is why I don't write songs. Well, one of many reasons why I don't write songs. I'll come back for them later if we need more heart points. But we shouldn't need more heart points. I have second chance, so I am not healing myself unless I absolutely have to. One of those times the second chance really comes in handy. Alright, Stalwart Blade, and then we finish with the Dust Flyer. That's what I was waiting for. There we go. Alright, we already have a sigil. Kill the dust fire and we should get the other two. Should be in the keyword. I the shadows only exist in this fight so you accidentally walk onto them. That is literally the only reason that they exist. Gosh. So unless I hit critical hits, unless I land critical hits, I do no damage to him.
Yes, two critical hits, that's good. Why can't I get the ability units and the sight units? They would both help so much. Uh oh. Wait, what? I had second chance and auto life still. How did that happen? I literally had both second chance and auto life. That couldn't have happened. Did I somehow accidentally already use auto life? I don't think I did. There's a bunch of baloney. Oh, I'll equip um, Final Limit as well. That's something I should have done last time, but didn't. Yeah, Final Limit. Um, I don't need that many elixirs. We're gonna try it again. <laughs> but if we can't do it this time, we might have to wait till next stream, because, the man, this mission takes a while. It was a bad time to use a limit break. Yeah, that's the ideal move that for him to do. Now we can get it. If he does that, we can get in free combos. Yes, please keep doing this. Please keep doing this. That is the way we do damage. Ouch. Okay, that fireball attack is not as hard to dodge as I thought it was. The shadows are just, like, mobbing me. My gosh, I barely scratched any of his HP just then. Yeah, this is... This isn't the worst bonus boss in the series, but it's down there. Because this fight's just not fun. It's not, like, stupidly and unfairly hard. It's just not fun. It's very boring. Yeah. <laughs> 
That was a good limit break we got in. I'm happy with that one. Oh yeah. Max level glide trivializes that fireball barrage attack. Yeah, compare the amount of damage I do when I just do a regular attack and when it goes like CHINK! Which is the critical hit. I shudder to think what this guy on level 1 would be like. Would you even, like, damage him? <laughs> yeah, like, look at that. I, I knocked out, like, a quarter of a bar of his HP with that finishing hit. Because it was a critical hit. Uh-oh. Guess second chance doesn't work for this guy at all. Unless it's like second chance only works once per mission, which would really suck. Last bar of HP. end it. Nope. There we go! <laughs> that was still only one sigil, though. I guess we have to go and kill some other Heartless as well. Serious? We have to kill Heartless? I was told Dustflyer alone would give you the sigils you needed. That ups it to two. Or maybe it's you don't need to get any chaining bonuses if you kill if you kill the Dustflyer. Maybe that was it. Either way, I'm kind of I'm kind of annoyed about this. You guys were not here when I passed by earlier. There we go. Give me that combo tech plus plus. Do 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 do. Alright, let's blow this pop stand. Last mission is cleared. Give us the ultimate weapon. And that... is... a... wrap! Wow, I have cleared challenge mode 100% now. Never thought I'd see the day. But here we are. New secret report unlocked. 
I have never read the secret reports before. We get the Ultima Weapon. <laughs> yeah! Yes! Oh, at last. What is the Ultima Weapon? It's an ability! It makes any weapon stronger. Okay. Interesting. So, just as a question. So, right now I have 213 strength, 218 magic. Okay, it makes, it makes my weapon a little... It doesn't make every weapon equally strong, though. Okay. Fair enough. Still gonna be equipping that max sight units. Hmm. Actually, ooh, if we do if you did something like the uh, Some of these have six that you can link to, so we could actually have five sight units attached to those, which would be interesting. Ooh. That would be fun. Okay, so if we go to Well first off, if we go to enemy profiles, do have we unlocked every enemy profile? We should have. No? There are two here. Oh, wait, no. Those are, like, literally... <laughs> that's their name, is question mark. Oh, pfft, okay. That's good, that's good. So we do have every one of those. Alright, let's take a look at the secret reports, then we'll end the stream. So, do, 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 yeah, yeah, okay, so some of these have new ones. A name defines an object, describes the span of it, gives it purpose. We embarked upon the replica program to ensure our new power stays ours. Now our shadow puppet number I lives. It needs a name, something to define it, to give the hollow vessel purpose. Seems like we're getting new members every day. Number 13 was a boy, Roxas. Now we've got a number 14, Shion. Today's mission was to show Roxas the ropes. I feel like they've had me babysitting him since he got here. He's not a bad kid, but he's spacey. Good fighter, though. At least I won't be bored. Oh, so this is Axel's diary. Oh, interesting. So we have Roxas' diary and Axel's diary. Shion is being monitored. Roxas, meanwhile, has begun his training exercises. It is imperative we keep Shion from having undue contact with Roxas until we are certain it will perform as expected, which will take another ten days, if Vexen's convictions are to be trusted. As for the Keyblade Master, Marluxia will be no doubt be keeping an eye on him. Another mission with Roxas today. Is he seriously my responsibility? At least he's starting to talk like a normal person. Maybe that means his memory's coming back. Still, this kid's supposed to be the Keyblade Master's nobody? I don't see it. Interesting! So it seems like Axel actually didn't care much for Roxas to begin with, but then slowly developed... Oh, that's interesting. Ugh, how dare they shut me out of monitoring the Keyblade Master, and then send me off to teach that half-baked nobody basic Mac... Oh! Oh, so it's not Axel for every single one. It's just Axel for some of them, so this one's clearly Lark Scene. Uh, how dare they shut me out of monitoring the Keyblade Master. Uh, uh, and then they send me off to teach that half-baked nobody basic ma magic? I should have had him light me on fire. It won't be long now, though. Once I'm over at Castle Oblivion, our plan goes into action. No more playing nanny. Ever. They pushed up the Castle Oblivion plan, our little hero, if the key must have made a move. Me and his nobody have been meeting up for ice cream over the last few days. Not the best conversationalist, but at least he's mastered a few facial expressions besides doom and gloom. I told him about Castle Oblivion, but he didn't seem to follow. Guess that's understandable. The program is largely on target. Number I, my finest... Oh, this is Vexen. Number I, my finest replica has proven an even greater success than anticipated. I intend to take the other vessel, judged unfit for number status, to Castle Oblivion, where I will subject it to further testing. One thing is clear. Could these replicas not be classified as a special sort of nobody? Marvusha succeeded in leading the Keyblade Master to the castle. I sense multiple threads at work, but details on each of the projects are scarce. I suspect some alleged organization projects are secretly private machinations. Marvusha seems especially suspect. Pressing Zexion for answers would be a waste of time. I know that, but this dearth of information is hard to accept. What is happening on the upper levels? What ought we be doing down here? They hug the their truths close and leave the rest of us to speculate. Zexion talks of the bond we share as an organization, but how could such a thing exist? Still, he remains the only one I can trust. Okay, that's gotta be Lexius. Uh, 
Yeah. Simple deduction suggests Axel's outwardly inscrutable actions are the result of some directive from Syx. Why else eliminate Vexen? He simply wanted to do research. Did we not all stand to gain from the fruits of his program? What is Axel thinking? Axel's in the way, though I don't know if he's aware of our plot. Vexen has no part in our plans. Why eliminate him, assuming Axel's orders were to root out traitors to the organization? Discerning his motives merits our full attention. Mm-hmm. I've uncovered most of what I need to know about the Replica program, but there's this, uh, but there's, where's the other one? I can't find any trace of it. Vexen was caught in the middle. Pitiable, but unavoidable. I could not risk his program falling into their hands. Of greater concern are the traitors, not the obvious turncoats, but the ones who will get in his and my way. The Keyblade Master is not our enemy. Roxas woke up today. I think he was dreaming this whole time. Being with him feels strange, familiar, like listening to the waves crash up against the shore. But why? It's gotta be Shion. Okay, oh, this is... Hmm, annihilated. Measures must be taken. Why are some of these staying on screens for longer and others aren't? Oh, these two are days that didn't have Roxas entries, but they do have secret reports, that's why. Okay. Replica program continues apace, but something has gone wrong at Castle Oblivion. The Dusks returned with word that none of those we dispatched survived, but the news came in fragments. I still know too little to extract the truth. I doubt Ax Axel would be a mun that was lost, but I must plan for the worst. First, I must locate the Keyblade Master. The Dusks can communicate? Interesting. I've lost track of the Keyblade Master and the other intruders. I'm the only one left in the castle. Everybody else has been destroyed. My orders were to end all of the traitors. But I think by this point, I fit the bill better than anybody. There's one last thing I need to look into while I'm here. Syx had a hand in what went down at that Castle Oblivion. Well, more like a whole arm. Which means Axel was in on it as well. There's the fact that Veg Zemnis ordered Axel to take out the traitors, orders which went for Syx. No specific names were given, but naturally Zemnis knew who the turncoats were from the get-go. I think that's Zigbar. The longer you know someone, the less uh, you need to speak in clear terms. Every fiend gets across with a wink and a nudge. A little reading between the lines. When it comes to what befell our late comrades at Castle Oblivion, ambiguity suits me just fine. But the Keyblade Master and Roxas come out and say that every little thing that comes to mind. Maybe that's human, or maybe they're just special. I lost the ability to use the Keyblade, and I have no idea why. I don't know what to do about it, about anything. It happened suddenly after Roxas woke up. If I can't collect hearts anymore, the organization has no use for me. This is terrible. That's Shion. Honestly, I never got why Roxas was so crazy about Shion. I know they both joined up at around the same time, and they're both rookies, but how do you get close to somebody who hides their face all the time? Well, I saw it today. All of a sudden, number 14 up and takes off her hood. Shion is a girl, and she looks just like Naminé. Oh, interesting. So Axel saw Shion as Naminé, at least initially. Huh. Yeah, because Shion's face it looks different, depending on who's looking at it, and most people just saw her as a hooded face. Roxas has been coming along on my missions to help me out since I can't use the Keyblade. Axel is covering for me, so I should be safe for now. But what am I going to do if I never get the Keyblade back? I can't lie forever. The hearts collected by our two Keyblade wielders, Roxas and Shion, have gathered together, and now the Almighty Kingdom Hearts waxes large in the night sky. Our efforts have come to bear fruit, nearly ripe for the plucking. All plans proceed smoothly, alarmingly so, in fact, though this is no time to be deterred by paranoia. I think that's Zemnis. That language sounds like Zemnis. Neither Roxas nor I have any memory of our human lives. I don't even remember my first days as a nobody. Roxas said he was the same, but I'm not so sure. For me, it's a total blank. I can't even remember the day I met Roxas or Axel. It's all a blur. Shion regained her ability to wield the Keyblade. I don't know how or why. Maybe there's more to the Keyblade Master they're not telling me about. I feel like I've been spending more time talking to Roxas and Shion lately than my old friend Syx. This has led to have been what was like friendship. Yeah, because Axel and Syx were initially friends, and then he kind of started hanging out with Roxas and Shion. Every day at wo it's work, work, work. I'm dead bored. I'd kill for some vacay. Nobody needs his rest, am I right? And when I get it, it's, it's going to be nothing but me and my sitar. <sighs> Roxas is, ma is maturing at an impressive rate. His face, the way he handles the Keyblade, it's all exactly the same. The world seems so divided and alone, but there is always that steady thread there to connect them, and we nobodies can never escape the things we did as humans, so it goes. Talking to Roxas and Shion always brings back memories of my human life, back when I was a kid. It's a weird sensation. I ought to be able to share all this with Syx, but I just don't feel like it anymore. It's strange, but I'm content with just missing what's gone. I'm not the one who changed. You did. Watching that foolish beast flail about <laughs> watching that foolish beast flail about only deepens my disdain for humans and their incessant need to be pinned down by feelings. 
We became nobodies precisely to avoid the shackles of emotion. It was only later that we realized the scale of that loss. That something simply cannot be done without a heart. Nonetheless, I can see nary a pleasant thing about it. That man wearing the organization's coat. That jerk. He's too powerful. I can't beat him unless I get stronger. And I'm not a sham. I'm not. He is. He's the one pretending to be something he isn't. As expected, the duplicate is starting to show its limits. The program showed promise, but a puppet is just a puppet. Something to be toyed with until it breaks. I am utterly at a loss as to what Roxas and Axel see in that fiend. How best to dispose of it merits my consideration going forward. That's gotta be Syx. I wasn't ready to see Roxas again. I can't help but c compare us. We both use the Keyblade, but we're different. Does he dream? It seems like that's all I do anymore. Last night I dreamt of the ocean. I was drowning. Oh, no. Wait. Uh. Oh, those next two entries are diary entries, but don't have the secret reports. Okay. Shion failed to complete its mission. If this continues, destroying it and using the next replica as the duplicate would undoubtedly yield a higher grade copy. No, number I was among the initial lot, which naturally raises questions about its capabilities. At present, it is nothing short of broken. I cannot fathom why Xemnas would want to keep it. Gotta be Psyx. There has to be something. There has to be something to what Saik said. Why isn't she unqualified to be one of us? He said to look just at her, but at what? The fact that she looks like Namine? Shion and Namine must be connected. Who's nobody is Shion anyway? What is Saik hiding? Oh, maybe Axel only sees her as Namine. I find myself envying children. Perhaps some fundamental difference exists between those who become nobodies as adults and otherwise. The longer you have lived, the more you are a position to lose with such a gamble. But a child can look forward, unafraid even in the face of immeasurable odds. I doubt they even see life as a gamble the way we do. That's, I think, Luke's sword. Shion continues to sleep. All analysis on its function appears to <laughs> suggest no marked change. The copying appears to be working, but a replica is a replica. My latest report to Xemnas on this net <laughs> on this net me no clear answers. He simply stood, smiling. At times I find his thinking impenetrable. I think Xemnas spends most of his time just watching TV. I finally wake up just to pass out again. Why? Because I'm a failure? I dreamt the whole while I was out. I was feeling this it was something nostalgic, but what? Why can't I remember? It could be a key memory for my human life. All I can remember is the sound of waves, gentle in the distance. I never thought I'd see the word replica again. Any rational man would realize that Riku replica was not likely unique, but I'm the only one in the organization who knew of his exceptional copying functionality, and that he ultimately formed a sense of self. The fact that I knew all this, that and never, still never noticed the truth about Shion sparks speaks to how remarkable a replica she must be. But my question remains unanswered. Who is she a replica of? Namine, Kairi, or perhaps someone entirely different? Why did the organization admit her into its membership, and why would such a fine replica fall unconscious or sporadically lose its command of the Keyblade? Even if Shion is a replica, a puppet, she's still Shion. I understand that in my head, but how do I interact with her now? Riku replica was just a tool, but I can't just use Shion. Num no, I was wrong to have just used Riku replica in the first place. How is a man-made puppet any less worthy than a nobody that was never meant to exist at all? They're both ambiguous, tenuous at best, and she's my friend. If Even if neither of us should exist, that doesn't invalidate the bonds we form. Next break we get, I told her we'd go all go to the beach. I hope we get the chance, our little summer vacation. I know if we can get together and laugh about stupid stuff, this nagging doubt will go away. My body feels heavy and my head aches. I'm too busy dreaming to get any rest from sleep. Axel knows something. He's hiding some secret. It must be in Castle Oblivion. That's where I was born. Shion's appearance should vary based on the relation of the viewer to her. Saik sees her simply as a puppet. The program is, uh, approaches completion. Though through Roxas, Shion is assembling a copy of the Hero of the Keyblade. As proof, she sometimes appears to take on his form to my eyes. Shion's disappearance is fascinating. If she really is breaking from our control, it's a sign of her approaching the essence of the hero. It seems Saik still doesn't truly see her. I'm curious to know how she appears to the others. I see her as... him. Though I suspect that Zemnit sees her as something else in entirely in her. I think that's Zigbar. Because Zigbar saw what looked like Roxas. The air is changed. just charged. I can feel it. You go out on a big gamble at a time like this, and you're going to lose big. That said, it's betting against the worst odds that nets the biggest win. I'm eager to see how this hand plays out. Thanks, Luke Sword. Shion is gone. Roxas. Roxas? <laughs> Roxas still doesn't know anything, but Shion found out. That's why I need to find her. We don't have hearts, so we have to accept the facts we're given as the truth. But something far more important lies behind that truth. Saix would laugh, laugh at people with no hearts, calling it uh, one another friends, but that doesn't make it not so. 
As the nobody of the hero of the Keyblade and the replica of that nobody, these two are special, unique in every sense of the word, but that doesn't change the fact that we're friends. Nothing will. Got it memorized, Shion? Axel and Roxas are up to something. No plot they concoct will change the fact that the organization has cast off Shion, though. Our plans have split, diverged, and advanced now to the next stage. The Number I project and the replica program merely paved the way. Our true goals lie elsewhere. None of us really know everything that's going on in Castle Oblivion. Some rooms even Xemnas doesn't know about. Not many are even aware that Shion was born there. I wonder if the truth about that place will ever surface. The man they're calling the Impostor, that fake organization member, it's Riku. Roxas could very well remember that, somewhere deep in his memories. Still, it's too soon to report this. I need to know why Shion was with him first. If she's siding with the hero, it could easily mean her erasure. What are you planning to do, Shion? Axel failed to report that the Impostor and Shion are working together. Instead, the news came from Roxas. The boy is far more easily handled than Axel, but now Axel has captured Shion and returned her to us. His motives are impossible to read. Our plans can be altered if necessary, but doing so can only delay their realization. Roxas doesn't trust me after the whole Shion incident, but I can't tell him the truth yet, so I keep lying. It's no big deal when you're a nobody. There's no guilt, no feeling at all, so why does it still sting just a little when I lie to him? All my dealings with Roxas give me this bizarre illusion of humanity. We watched the sunset today, the three of us. I didn't think we'd ever be able to do that again. It's like that dream I had, the one where I was by the shore with Roxas and Axel, watching the sunset over the water. I just want to stay with them. But how? What should I do? Shion is burning through missions at full tilt. She seems frantic. Why? I don't know. And speaking of, I still don't know what to say to Roxas. Even without my orders from Saix, I'd do anything to stop Roxas from being erased. I just don't know what I can, I, if I can stand by and let that happen to Shion either. Axel's always helped me out, so I just assumed he would again. How long has he known about me? Maybe since long before we met at Castle Oblivion. But he told me to think for myself. I was so happy. But now as I get stronger, Roxas keeps getting weaker. I shouldn't exist anymore. They say that nobodies were never meant to exist, but I'm the real affront. But before I'm gone, I want to help Roxas and Axel, even just a little. I think the boy I saw today is the same Sora from my memories. Be they a puppet or the hero's nobody, we merely need a functional Keyblade Master. The details are unimportant. The puppet has developed to the point where the hero of the Keyblade may be entirely redundant. Indeed, perhaps we ought to never allow Sora to awaken. He cannot be controlled, he will rise up against us. We must move our agenda ahead with that firmly in mind. Riku gave me this time. Axel told me to spend it thinking for myself. The organization is determined to erase either me or Roxas. They'll never allow us to coexist. I love Roxas and Axel. I'm sure Sykes would scoff at that. Call it a trick of my artificial memories, but the time I spent in that clock tower was real. I wish the three of us could stay together forever, just like this forever. <sighs> but I have to end this. I'll never forget today's sunset. Even if Roxas and Axel do, I won't forget. I couldn't tell Shion when she was wrong, and I can't bring myself to end her. But it's either that, or I have to erase Roxas. There's no future where the three of us can sit around and eat ice cream. I know Roxas will never understand. I don't want to acknowledge it myself. I wanted to see Roxas one more time, but I couldn't. What would I say? Did I ever really exist? Even if not, I just hope that those times we spent watching the sunset were real. I know Naminé would tell me to how to get back to where I belong. I should hurry to see her. The gears of Xemnas' plan have begun to spin wild since the loss of half of our membership at Castle Oblivion. The results are there, but can this state of affairs fairly be called a success? If Kingdom Hearts can be said to possess a mind of its own, it is surely rejecting Xemnas. No, rejecting Xehanort. Roxas left the organization today. Our plans never accounted for the possibility of both Shion and Roxas leaving. How did this come to pass? When did Roxas grow strong enough to outmuscle me? What were you really after, Lee? We joined the organization at the same time and formulated our plan. At this point, it's just an idle fantasy. Everything changed. You and me. Roxas left. It's just so like him to just leave that winter ice cream stick behind. Come tomorrow, I'll probably get the order to hunt him down, but leaving that the here makes it feel so permanent. I wish the three of us... Free? No, that the two of us could share some ice cream again someday. That's what it, that's what it is to be friends. With luck, we can bring Roxas back into our fold, but even if Sora should awaken as the hero of the Keyblade, he is bound to keep unlocking hearts. If he should come to target us, we need to simply subdue him and use his powers, our powers ourselves once more. I must become one with Kingdom Hearts. I will become a higher existence. All of my true ambitions begin there. <sighs> that was a wall of text. Wow. Alright. But I wanted to read those secret reports. I hadn't done it before. Okay, we are done with challenge mode. All we have left is mission mode, and that should be pretty easy. <laughs> 
now that we have the Ultima weapon and the all of the and literally everything in the game, as long as we're Psyx, we should be able to plow through pretty much every mission. Of course, we'll probably also do some missions as Donald, because that would be hilarious. <laughs> And maybe Goofy as well. All right, I'm going to have to end the stream there. We are way <laughs> over time. We almost went an hour over time today. Uh, and I, my throat's about to give out. Which is not good, because I have meetings at work tomorrow. So, <laughs> thank you all for joining in. This was a ton of fun. Uh, tune in for Saturday's stream. We'll be continuing the Fruit of Grisea. And I'll try to do a Halloween stream on Sunday. We may not have a lot of time in the evening. But I want to at least do something. I think that would be fun. I'll have to mull that over what I'll play. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your night, and God bless.